play. I always feel good going into a penalty shootout. The, the pressure's always on the kicker. You can do a lot of study, but again, it's down to the kicker. He can change his mind or do whatever he wants. So that game in particular, it's a, it's a sudden death game, and you, you hope it doesn't go to penalties, but... We did enough work that we thought we could have it covered. The first save I made was um, Isais. We didn't have anything on Isais. Diego Castro had missed going the same way. The Spanish player, I thought, you know what? They always like to go across their body. Ready with a big save, plunging down to his right. The only real reason I had for him going that way was because our Spanish player went the same way. I've always fancied myself as a penalty taker. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't know why goalkeepers don't take more penalties. You have to be a confident individual to play in goals because the loneliness of the position. Thankfully, uh, in that individual night, I got the score and you know make a difference. You really just go on, do they look confident? You know, their body language shows a lot. You can really see in some players that they don't want to be there. And that's a good sight when you're a goalkeeper. The number nine for Adelaide at the time, I think he took about the sixth penalty. We had footage on him and he had gone uh, the same way twice. Your number nine, isn't in the first five and he's taken penalties for Adelaide that season. So that told me that he wasn't confident. So he would then revert back to just trying to strike the ball hard and probably go where he's always gone. I knew before he walked up that I was going to save it. Liam Rennie! Two big paws on the ball. There's no response from Tony Popovich.